Gavin Lux. Photo by Stacy Wheeler. It's time, once again, for this year's Dodgers Top 100 Prospects list complied by yours truly. Normally, I run this introductory post for a few hours and follow it with the first real installment of the series, but with the lack of anything going on, I figure I'd fire this off a couple days early. The first installment will drop Monday morning. This will be the fifth consecutive year in which I've ranked 100 prospects. I don't say that to brag as much as it's a subtle cry for help that none of you have picked up on yet. Maybe next year. As for the breakdown, well, I want to do something a bit different than previous years, but I haven't settled on anything yet. So, I think I'm going to try a couple different things. Here's what I'm thinking, 100-51, list of players with best tool, 2019 location and estimated time of arrival in the majors, followed by notes on some of the notable ones, 50-31, to 31, list of players with strengths, weaknesses, scouting grades, 2019 location, ETA 30-21, to 21, list of players with vitals. Scouting grades, 2019 location and ETA in the majors, followed by notes on all 10, 20, 11, formal, ish, scouting reports, a lot of the last two years for the top 10, with less summary 10 to 1, individual profiles with scouting grades, 2019 location, ETA and future role we'll see how this goes. I know most won't care about the 75th best prospect in the organization, but when that guy gets traded in a package for Nate Jones July, you'll be happy to have this as a resource. After the top 100 concludes, I'll follow up with supplemental articles that include the best tools and projected 2022 lineup and pitching staff. Eligibility All players who have not reached 50 innings pitched or 130 at-bats in the MLB, and have fewer than 45 days of precept. One service time in the MLB are eligible for this list. Ages are the league age season for the player, i.e. His age 23 season, service time is why Caleb Ferguson isn't eligible for my list. Prospect system Great impact potential, be the impact prospects have come and gone in this system. That's not to say guys like Kiebert Ruiz and Alex Verdugo can't have an impact, but they're far less likely than their predecessors Cody Bellinger, Corey Seager, etc. Still, they project to be at least average MLB players, and probably better. This could change with the development of some recently acquired players like Michael Grove and Diego Cartaya. Not signing 2019 first-rounder JT. In hurts the impact and depth. Depth be the depth as they're in quality, but is lacking a bit in quality. They've made some nice international signings and some good draft picks after the first couple rounds, which helps keep the depth slightly better than average. Overall, be there are guys who have impact potential who could make big leaps with strong 2019 campaigns, Dustin May, Omar Ace Davis. There are guys who could bounce back to re-establish themselves as impact prospects Jadier Alvarez, Mitchell White. And if some of the guys who made strides last year prove it wasn't a fluke, this system could look a lot better a year from now, especially with, at present, two first-round picks and an extra pick after the second round for Yasmani Grandal signing with the Brewers. A breakdown of the entire top 100 by position. Player position C6, 1B3, 2B4, 3B6, SS9, LF, RF14, CF4, RHSP26, LHSP5, RHRP19, LHRP4. Up next, prospects 100 to 51.